Hello everyone, in this video I will show you my analysis on the extreme 13th episode of Multiverse Skibidi Toilets. The episode came out very epic with an incredible plot twist at the end. If you will enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. Well, we're getting started. At the beginning of the episode, we see a scene of large drillmen digging a tunnel underground followed by drillmen and cameramen. This is the safest way to move at the moment, as there is a battlefield on the surface now, a ruthless war on which it is difficult to move. But at some point, large drillmen lose details from his body, perhaps due to the fact that in episode 11, he just flew into the virus toilet and hit him hard on the ground, which could also cause damage to himself. In this situation, the drillman who ran after him helps him. He repairs his parts and attaches them back to the large drillman. They change their course upward, possibly due to the fact that their goal was this base, which turned out to be a little further from where they got out. On the surface, we see a real fierce war through which it will be very difficult to get through. But there is no way out and you need to run forward. On the way, we are knocked down by Skibidi Mutant, who with the help of his bat knocks us down and begins to strangle us. But we were lucky. One of the cameramen saved us by throwing a spear right at the mutant's head. By the way, it is worth paying attention to his eyes, which were originally white and after death were extinguished. Does this mean that robots have entered the war now? Write your opinion in the comments. Our savior, is immediately blown up by a flying skibidi toilet. It's sad, but we need to run further. For the sake of at least some weapons, we take a mutant bat, which soon helps us neutralize toilet soldier. We also meet a toilet with two machine guns, which poses a huge threat. We urgently need to find shelter from bullets. We were lucky and we are hiding, but several of our fellow cameramen are shot. Here we are, helped by Titan Drillman, who crushes this machine gunner with his foot. We are already close to the Skibidi Laboratory Base 4. It can be said to be the finish line. But not everything is so simple. We are being hit by an enemy car. Skibidi Toilets have mastered the technique and now know how to drive cars. Along the way, we see how the Titan Drillman deals with all the enemies next to him, breaking buildings. Then we notice that this car is taking us straight to the barrels of explosive. The enemy jumps out of the car in order to save his life. We also manage to jump away from it in a fairly safe radius from the explosion. We need to keep running to the laboratory. On the way, we see one of the Skibidi helicopters falling right on the speakerman thereby killing ourselves and him. We continue to run, but on the way, we meet a Skibidi toilet in a hat, who is knocked down by a cameraman on a cargo truck. Our next opponent is Buzzsaw Skibidi Toilet. Unfortunately, we are too weak to fight him one-on-one, -on -one, but fortunately, our good old friend arrives to help us. Plungerman throws the enemy with his red and white plungers which frees the head of Buzzsaw Toilet. It remains only to blow up. Another dangerous is behind us. We are already very close to the shelter. One of the speakermen runs in front of us. We are finally safe. We are met by a large speakerman. It seems that we are located where Skibidi Toilets conducted different experiments 
We see different devices and machines in the building. It's hard to say what each of them is responsible for. We also see a board on which days or attempts are drawn. I calculated there are exactly 144 days and attempts. What exactly do you think they were trying to do in this lab? And where the rest of the buildings may be located? Write your guesses in the comments. Somehow, an enemy appears behind us who shocks a large speaker man and moves towards us, charging his electric guns. But then we are saved by the spear of our new friend, Elite Clockman. He comes into the lab with TV Man. But this time, he doesn't have that cute face that was in episode 11. We show each other approving signs and continue to inspect the laboratory. The speakerman finds some documents with the name Skibidi Apocalypse. Suddenly, Elite Clockman blows off the speakerman's head with his robo hand. Apparently, he did something he shouldn't have. What could be in this document? I hope we'll find out in the next episode. It is also worth noting the inscription on the TV man screen. It says, no spoilers. Elite Clockman uses his flying hand to bring the documents to the screen, and TV Man simply burns it. What other abilities do you think these two might have? And most importantly, whose side are they on? What are their main reasons for killing both Speakermans and Ski Beady Toilets at the same time? Write your opinion in the comments. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Can't go on. It's okay, I can repair you. We have to go up. Okay. Done. Thanks. Oh, God. Hey. You're too weak, man! No! Help me, please! Take this! Take cover! A huge piece of iron! You can't handle us! I have to go there! Target detected. Thank you! Oh, this is my salvation. This is your end, fools! Hey, I'm sorry for being late. Thank you. No problem. Oh, my God.
This is our end. You don't have to know that. Burn it. Oh. <laughs> 